Hi, David Gates with Waterline Boats, Port Towns in Washington. This video will walk you through the interior of this 1997 Prothero & Franken 65-foot schooner. Coming in through the starboard companionway, you'll immediately see a helm station, salon, and galley. Helm Station supplies a Furuno GPS, a Marine Tech Watermaker Panel, Ecotech Depth Sounder, John Deere Engine Control Panel, just starboard of the helm wheel, a 12 volt lighting panel with 12 volt socket, and leaving an autopilot control panel. While leaving the Helm Station, we come across set tees and a table as we enter into the aft cabin. Stepping down into the aft cabin, you can immediately see a double berth. Looking up from the berth, you are surrounded by windows and portholes for lighting and air circulation. Coming down below, around the berth, you can see ample amount of storage space. even a spot to hang your clothes and jackets, and then a ladder to enter and exit the aft cabin to and from the pilot house. Returning to the pilot house, we can see a shelf for books and paperwork, fire extinguisher, and a companion way to enter and exit the pilot house from the aft deck. Coming across the starboard side, you can see places for dishes and the galley with a Sigmar diesel stove oven. Coming out from the oven, you can see ample amount of countertop space and a double basin sink with cabinets below and shelves above with porthole. Coming from the galley, you could see the steps that come into a common way below deck. Coming into the common way below deck, you immediately see the engine room, the head and shower, and bunk cabin. The stairs will lead you back up to the pilot house or back to the common way. Stepping in to the head, you have a sink, a porthole mirror, storage, head, and shower area with shower head mounted to the ceiling. Also notice a light above the porthole mirror. Leaving the head in the shower area, you'll see the engine room door that hides the main electrical panel. Entering the engine room, looking port is a 12 volt switchboard. Just beyond the switchboard, you'll see one of two battery banks, the other being on the starboard side. 13 batteries total, six 12 volt deep cycle, six six volt marine cycle, and one 12 volt marine. Coming to the deck of the engine room, you will find a John Deere six cylinder turbocharged diesel engine producing 165 horsepower with two mountain AC generators producing 2800 watts. Below the starboard battery bank are seawater filters connecting to a village marine tech water maker. Looking up towards the engine room roof, you will find a fire extinguisher. Below the port battery bank are shelves for tools and parts.
Leaving the engine room, going through the common way, we enter the bunk cabin. Looking for it, you will find a freezer, TV, and four single bunk berths. Looking starboard, you can see a large storage area below one of the three berths. In the center of the cabin is a table, and then looking up from this table, you'll find a large windowed hatch that provides ample sunlight and can be opened to load storage or allow ventilation. Moving forward from the bunk cabin brings you to a hand carved cedar door that leads into the bee berth. Look immediately to port and find stairs that bring you through a common way up to the forward deck. Looking forward displays a very spacious V-Birth. Taking our view back starboard behind the cedar door is a good size hanging locker with storage below. Thank you for taking the time to view this Prothro and Franken 65 foot schooner. Should you have any questions, please give me a call. David Gates. 714-658-4390 or email me davidgates at waterlineboats.com.